Hey everyone, Mina is here and uh, today it's gonna be a quick tip on how to take your car dynamics and um, drive this simulated car with your keyboard. So I already have this car asset that I have went over and I already have made all of the proxy geo for the simulation along with the constraints and uh, all of that went to the top network and uh, this car proxy geo is ready for simulation press play there you have it, it's ready uh, to be simulated so what I'm gonna do now is in order to for us to drive this car with our keyboard you have to do you have to create a chop network and a chop network has a very handy node that's called keyboard that has a bunch of keys and each key you can assign you can give it a name and assign a letter and uh, if you open the motion effects tab you will find all of your keys that has a default value of zero if any so if you pressed say the a key it will be evaluated to one but it will not work by default since we need to uh, disable the scroll uh, look on our keyboard and to do that what we have to do is to open the on-screen keyboard and uh, make sure that you uh, press this scroll lock key it will not work for the first time all you have to do is to minimize Houdini and maximize it again now press you will you will find uh, this frame number will turn to uh, orange that's when you know it is ready and now if you press A or D or any other uh, assigned letter it will be evaluated to 1 and now we have to make the connection between the motion effects this this chop network uh, and our nodes so I have made two nodes first one for the steering controller and the second one for the spin controller for the steering controllers I have uh, three parameters steering left steering right and a mount and uh, to make the connection all I had to do was to press drag and drop this to the chop and um, accept it as a chop reference and after that I copied this parameter copy parameter and uh, paste relative reference and since we have disabled all of the keyboard all of the keyboard keys if you try to uh, type multiplication it will not work you have to disable this again so now we can type this amount multiplied by the chop network and now if you uh, enable this again press A as you can tell the steering left is being evaluated from 0 to 20 the same idea for the steering left sorry for the steering right but this time I am uh, multiplying this with a negative so it gives me uh, the opposite direction and the same thing that I did for the spin controller again forward backward and uh, a multiplication of or a global multiplier of 2000 and uh, so if I press W it will move forward and it will be evaluated from 0 to 2000 and the backwards again uh, multiplying this with a negative so it gives me a negative 2000 what I have to do next is a uh, is to uh, make the connection inside the, the dot network. So if I open the, uh, I have two two pop spin. The first one will spin forward, and the second one spin backwards. For the spin forward, what I did is to copy parameter and paste relative reference and the spin speed. And uh, I'm 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 running over group is wheels because we need the four wheels to be uh, rotating and I'm giving it an axis the x axis to rotate around and uh, I use a switch to switch between 
the spin forward and the spin backwards because a merge will only pick the first one so I, I used a switch and uh, I've give it the backwards value which means if it's defaulting to forward but when I press the S it's switching and using this one as, as well so we are switching and using the minus 2000 by default it's using this 2000 and that's for forwards and uh, backwards now we press play as you can tell the car will go forwards and will go backwards and uh, to make the the first uh, the front wheels rotate or the steering I made a sub solver and inside of it I just split out the uh, first two wheels sorry uh, split out the front wheels and I used a transform and a switch so we are transforming uh, transform and in the rotation of the Y I used the relative reference from the uh, steering left and right so if I press a uh, press D it will be evaluated to minus 20 which as you can see the uh, the rotation of the wheel the same switch concept so if we press D and A we will uh, steer left and right the same for the other wheel the other front wheel and uh, this is the rest of the car and merging it with everything and uh, this is the out so now we press play the car now can go forward and backwards and that's it that's all you have to do for the car to work now for the camera before the camera uh, what we need to do is we need to get back our assets our full uh, high j high res geo in the top import i'm fetching out the simulation points and i'm splitting out the wall and the core then i'm merging them again and i have the geo for it that has the same name on the primitive and here we have this we have the name attribute uh on the um on the points as you can see we have the wall here because i am supposed to uh, merging this with the wall that i originally have planned for so we get just using drive our car to the wall and destroy it so that's why i have the splits the wall and the core merging them using those form pieces and uh true enough we will have this uh, we will have our simulation uh, being transferred to our high-res jail and uh, to make this camera that follows our uh, our core that's why I have separated this core uh, the simulation points of the core and I used extract um, extract centroids running over detail and I have copied this in the sub path we are outputting translation X and Y and Z we have a null and uh, I've made another null in here attach it to the camera and uh, using a chop F expression I have navigated to this path of the null and we are grabbing the translation X and translation Y and translation Z and this will make our camera follow uh, our uh, our our car. And that's it. That's all you have to do to control your car with your to drive your simulation with your car. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to grab the help file. It's available on my Gumroad. It's free and uh, hopefully uh, that was beneficial and uh, see you next time.